In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make scroll design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created this scroll and it is closed now. The moment I click, it will open it and it will reveal the text. You can see here, I have just put invitation and you can add your own text here. So this is one way of doing that one. The other way also, I have used the morph transition. You can see here, the moment I click, it comes something like this with a different color I have used. So if you don't have the Office 365, then you can use the first option. If you have the Office 365, then you can use the morph transition, the second option. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some light color later on we can change the color then right mouse click edit points and just this the top left one i'm just going to make it more inside here and you can just make it somewhat curve and here also you can make it somewhat curve and from here also i'm just going to drag this inside and make this somewhat curve you can see here and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D and I'm going to select the gradient fill for that right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill here before only I have created this one that's the reason it's coming let me just show you you can see here I have just used a gold color a dark color then light then dark and then light color I have used so I have used total five stops and then I'm just going to hold the shift key and increase the width and then just send this to back. Now just, I'm just using the arrow key to move this one. You can see here it is visible from both the sides. This is the just one layer. I want one more fold for that. Let me just select this, press control D to duplicate this. And I'm going to reduce the size you can see here and right mouse click edit points and this also you make it more curved you can see here and this also make it more curved and then I'm just selecting this press ctrl D and give the same gradient fill and increase the size just the width and again send this to back you can see here you end up getting this shape select the both of these object press ctrl G and select both of these objects also press ctrl G to group it and if you want you can make this color a little bit darker bring it here increase the again the width you can see here and send to back so you can see here you have got two-fold design here now I'm going to take this down copy one more copy so I'm just going to select all press ctrl G and ctrl D to duplicate bring it down you can see here then go to format just rotate it flip vertical you can see here make sure that this is properly aligned and then I'm going to insert the main page go to shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some dark color and right mouse click edit points select the point bottom and then just drag this inside this also drag this inside and from this side also I'm just going to drag this inside you can see here so you end up getting this shape now press ctrl D to duplicate and again give the same gradient fill and increase the width you can see here send this to back so you got this background uh, the outline also again select both of this press ctrl G to group it and send this to back so you can see here you have got the design and if you want you can just add some shadow effects also
and you can add your own text here for example let me just go to insert text box i'm just saying invitation again the font color i'm going to use gold you can see here and hand of scene center align increase if you required and put it in the center maybe somewhat lighter color looks good yes and then you can add the detailed text here add your detailed text here and again if you want you can give the same font or different font and hand of scene or some other good fonts also you can try it so this is the invitation this is your detailed text so i'm just going to select this text as well as the background this one you can see the and press ctrl g to group it and go to format again send to back now if you want to add a wooden or a steel holder you can just add for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and select the gradient fill so here i'm just going to use one stop which is black and here i'm going to use a light color you can see here one more stop somewhat darker color and here again i'm going to use the black color so you can see here you got this shape again send this to back and if you want you can just reduce a little bit and then go to insert shapes select the rectangle again small one i'm going to draw this side again shape outline make it no outline again the same gradient fill press ctrl d to duplicate it and add the other side also so you can see here you end up getting this one now we have almost completed the design now it's time to do the animation there are two ways to do this animation uh, first one is if you have the office 365 then you can go to transition and select the morph and you can do it or if you're using some older version where you don't have the morph then what you can do is i'm just going to select first of all this one you can see here and go to animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select the wipe effect you can see here wipe i'm saying from top so it is very fast you can make it go to the timings you can make it medium and click ok so it comes something like this you can see here and this i'm going to bring it at the top here exactly and add animation scroll down under motion path select line you can see here which is down line and then you can see here the small red hold the shift key and drag it down till here so and this should happen with previous so let's see here if i play it comes something like this you can see here if you have the morph transition that will be better so you can use the morph if you don't have you can use this technique That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.